All right, so a woman who accused her supervisor of raping her inside the airport is now suing. She says she uh, this happened inside the Hartsfield Jackson Airport while she was working there as a, with a cleaning company. We have Natisha Lance with us right now. And Natisha, this is such a young girl. Yes, she was just 20 years old at the time, Faith. And she says she had only been on the job for just a few weeks. Now that is before she met the supervisor. She says violated her while working. Now, as you mentioned, she's filing a lawsuit that that supervisor and the cleaning service against them. She would work for them briefly. On her 22nd birthday, Aurelia Mancia is reliving what she calls the worst day of her life. He shut the door behind us and he raped me. She says it happened while working as part of ABM Industries overnight cleaning crew at Hartsfield Jackson International Airport in September 2018. At the time, she told Atlanta police her supervisor, Eddie Sanders, took her to a storage room and forced her to have sex against her will. It's hard. Just every day, uh, just the regular days, um, just have to know I'm always watching over my shoulder, um, worrying if anything else is going to happen. Sanders has been in the Clayton County Jail since the incident awaiting trial. Aurelia is not waiting for that. She and her attorney filed a civil lawsuit against Sanders and the company she worked for. It's a case where there's corporate misconduct on a grand scale. Issues with the company were highlighted in the Frontline documentary, Rape on the Night Shift. I felt it exemplified one of the worst handlings by a company of complaints of harassment. 21 workers with claims ranging from sexual comments to rape took part in the class action suit. The case was settled for $5.8 million, according to the EEOC. It's not right. It's Something needs to be done about it. We asked ABM about Aurelia's lawsuit. In a statement to 11 Alive, the company said it has always been and continues to be committed to fostering a professional and safe working environment for all employees. And ABM is still the contracted janitorial service for Hartsville Jackson Airport, and there are no plans to end that contract. The company says it is cooperating, that's ABM, with the police and the case, but cannot comment on pending litigation. Aurelio's attorney says if there are other possible victims out there, then he wants to hear from them. All right, thanks a lot.